guys, in this Instructables we're going to be learning how to create our very own Edgineers micro drone chassis using Tinkercad. Edgineers is a Saturn School based STEM challenge where we actually design, build and fly our own micro drone. Um, and you can choose whether you want to take part in that competition or not. Um, what we're going to be doing in this Instructables is going to act as a guide to create your own drone chassis using Tinkercad. Um, we're going to be assembling the drone using the engineer's components and we're going to do a little bit of a test flight at the end there as well. So let's have a closer look at some of the tools we're going to be using throughout this Instructables. So the first part of our Instructables is to create our drone chassis using Tinkercad. If you haven't heard of Tinkercad before, it is a free piece of online CAD software that you can use on an internet browser. You will need a Autodesk account and a laptop or PC to run it. Once you have completed your drone chassis in Tinkercad, then we'll export it out as an STL ready to be 3D printed. So once you've completed the Tinkercad tutorials, you'll be able to uh, 3D print your own drone chassis, like the example I have here. I've done mine on an FDM printer using a 0.15 layer height. Once we have got our 3D printed drone chassis, then we can start to assemble the different parts together. So what you will need and what you get in the Edge Nears kit is a set of four propellers here. And we've got two clockwise and two anti-clockwise. We've got a set of four propellers, uh, motors here, and they again are two clockwise and two counterclockwise. We also have our flight controller which is used to connect to our transmitter and we can actually control our drone use, using it. Uh, I've got two batteries here as well, so just to power the drone. Uh, I need a cable tie just to keep the batteries in place. And we also need this micro USB just to configure our flight controller. I also need a couple of different pieces, uh, different tools. So. I need some wire strippers and we're just going to use them to strip down some of the wires on our flight controller. Uh, I've got some pliers here as well and I'm just going to use that, them to break some of the support off my um, 3D printed chassis. I've got a posi head screwdriver which I'm just going to use to put the screws in on my drone chassis and keep that flight controller in place. Um, and I've also got soldering iron and some solder here, which we're going to use just to solder a couple of wires onto our flight controller. The other, t the other thing I need is my transmitter here as well, uh, and that's basically just used to control our micro drone. Uh, you will need some batteries to go in it, and it, this is up to you, but that we also have the FPV goggles here as well, um, and the kit does come up with a camera so you can design a camera mount to put the camera on top if you like but we're not going to go through that in this tutorial. Once you have completed building your drone you'll need to configure your flight controller using a piece of software called Betaflight. Betaflight is a Chrome extension you can download um, for free and again you'll need your PC or laptop to configure the drone. Once you've done that, it's time for a test flight. So now we have a better understanding of this Instructables, let's jump into it. <laughs> 